Have you ever wondered what our relationship with nature says about us as a species? It's a question that demands introspection. Is our coexistence harmonious, or are we tilting the balance? Our actions, the way we exploit resources, the pollution we generate, all contribute to a larger narrative, global warming. It's a story not of nature's making, but ours, and it's a tale that's far from over. It's time we delve deeper into this matter and understand the reality of our world. Global warming is not a prediction for the future, it's happening right now. Each passing day, our planet is registering higher temperatures. The last decade was the hottest in recorded history, and each of the past five years has been warmer than the last. This warming isn't just an inconvenience, it's a threat to life as we know it. The ice caps at our planet's poles are melting at an alarming rate. These vast expanses of ice, once seemingly invincible, are now diminishing before our very eyes. In the north, the Arctic sea ice extent has shrunk by an average of nearly 10% per decade since the late 70s. The Antarctic isn't faring much better, with an ice loss that has tripled in the last decade alone. As these ice caps melt, they contribute to rising sea levels. Already this has led to coastal erosion, flooding and even the disappearance of some island nations. By the end of this century, it's predicted that sea levels could rise by 1 to 4 feet, which would put many coastal cities and communities at serious risk. Extreme weather events are also becoming more common. Heat waves, hurricanes, droughts, wildfires, these calamities are no longer aberrations, but the new norm. The cost of these disasters, both in terms of lives lost and economic damage, is staggering. This warming world is having a devastating impact on biodiversity. Species are being pushed to extinction at a rate up to a thousand times faster than natural rates, and many of these losses are directly attributable to climate change. Plants and animals are struggling to adapt to these rapid changes, and the ripple effects on ecosystems are profound. The impact on human life is equally dire. From food and water scarcity to increased spread of diseases, the implications of global warming are far-reaching and potentially catastrophic. We are facing a reality that cannot be ignored. This isn't just about saving polar bears or preserving beautiful landscapes for future generations. This is about the survival of our species, about the kind of world we want to leave for our children. We have a responsibility to act, and the time to act is now. Our actions have consequences, and the impact on our planet is devastating. Let's break this down a bit. When we talk about human activities contributing to global warming, we're talking about actions like deforestation, burning fossil fuels, and industrialization. Take deforestation, for example. Every time we cut down a tree, we're not just losing a plant, we're losing a vital part of our natural air filtration system. Trees absorb carbon dioxide, one of the key greenhouse gases responsible for trapping heat in our atmosphere. Without trees, more carbon dioxide stays in the atmosphere, contributing to the greenhouse effect, and in turn, global warming. Then there's the burning of fossil fuels. These are things like coal, oil, and natural gas. When we burn these for energy, they release carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. This isn't a small amount we're talking about. It's a whopping 80% of all carbon dioxide emissions in the world. We're literally fueling the fire of global warming every time we flick on a light switch or start a car engine. And let's not forget industrialization. Factories, power plants, and other industrial facilities are major sources of another potent greenhouse gas, methane. This gas is over 25 times more potent at trapping heat than carbon dioxide. And as our world becomes more and more industrialized, methane emissions are only rising. These activities, deforestation, burning fossil fuels, industrialization, they're all driving an increase in greenhouse gases. And it's this increase that's causing our planet to heat up more than it naturally should. It's not a future problem. It's a right now problem. We must take responsibility for our actions and their effects on the Earth. We've caused considerable damage, but it's not too late to change course. It starts with acknowledging the problem, understanding its causes, and then taking meaningful steps to address it. We can and we must live with nature, not with global warming. The consequences of global warming are far-reaching and alarming. Imagine the Earth as a delicately balanced ecosystem, 
where every creature, every plant, and every weather pattern is interlinked in a beautiful, intricate web of life. Now picture this web unraveling. That's the grim reality we face with global warming. Our planet's ecosystems are under severe strain. Rising temperatures are causing ice to melt in the Arctic, threatening the survival of species like the polar bear, which rely on sea ice for hunting. Coral reefs, the rainforests of the ocean, are suffering from coral bleaching due to warmer ocean temperatures, endangering the myriad species that call them home. But it's not just wildlife that's at risk. Human societies are feeling the pinch too. The threat to food security is becoming increasingly real. Changing weather patterns are disrupting farming cycles, leading to poor harvests and threatening the livelihoods of farmers. The scarcity of food could lead to increased prices and food shortages, hitting the most vulnerable among us the hardest. The increased frequency of natural disasters is another chilling consequence of global warming. Wildfires, hurricanes, floods, they're all becoming more common and more severe. These disasters not only cause immediate loss of life and property, but they also displace people, creating a surge of climate refugees. And let's not forget the spread of diseases. Warmer temperatures can expand the habitats of disease-carrying insects like mosquitoes, leading to the spread of diseases like malaria and dengue. Rising temperatures can also lead to heat waves, which can cause heat-related illnesses and deaths. In essence, the consequences of global warming are a domino effect, with one disaster leading to another, and another, each more devastating than the last. The effects of global warming are not just environmental, they are a threat to our very survival. It's time for us to sit up, take notice, and do something about it. Because if we don't, the cost could be far greater than we can ever imagine. Despite the grim reality, there is a way forward. A pathway that leads us out of the shadows of global warming and into a future where we live harmoniously with nature. It's not a road paved with quick fixes, but an ongoing journey requiring commitment, cooperation, and a collective shift in our mindset. First, let's talk about renewable energy. It's the beacon of hope in our fight against global warming. Harnessing the power of the sun, wind, and water for our energy needs reduces our reliance on fossil fuels, the main culprits of greenhouse gas emissions. By turning to renewable energy, we're not just choosing a sustainable power source, but we're also choosing a future where our skies are clearer and our air is cleaner. Next, we have reforestation. Trees are nature's own carbon capture technology. They absorb carbon dioxide, one of the primary greenhouse gases, and in return, they produce the oxygen we breathe. Deforestation is like shooting ourselves in the foot. We must reverse this damage by planting more trees and preserving our existing forests. Every tree planted is a step towards a cooler planet. Then we have sustainable practices. These include everything from reducing waste, recycling and composting, to promoting green architecture and sustainable agriculture. It's about making conscious choices that are good for us and good for the planet. It's about living in a way that leaves the smallest footprint possible. But these solutions aren't just for governments or big corporations to implement. They're for each and every one of us. Everyone has a role to play in combating global warming. We need to act collectively as a global community and individually in our daily lives. Remember, the fight against global warming isn't a sprint, it's a marathon. It's a commitment to a way of life that respects and preserves our planet. Our survival depends on our commitment to these solutions. It is clear that our relationship with nature needs to change. We've spent the past several minutes exploring the unsettling reality of global warming, a phenomenon fueled largely by our own activities. The burning of fossil fuels, deforestation, and the relentless pursuit of industrial growth are pushing our planet to the brink. The consequences are dire and far-reaching. From the melting ice caps to the escalating intensity of natural disasters, the impact of global warming is neither subtle nor distant. It is here and it is now. But amid the gloom, there is a glimmer of hope. The path forward, while challenging, is clear. We need to adopt sustainable practices in our everyday lives and urge our leaders to make environmentally friendly policies a priority. We need to shift our focus from endless growth 
to mindful growth that respects and preserves the natural world. We've seen how human activities contribute to global warming. It's time we acknowledge our role in this crisis and take the necessary steps to mitigate it. Small actions, when multiplied by millions, can transform the world. And it's not just about saving the planet. It's about securing a livable future for ourselves and generations to come. We must live with nature, not with global warming. The time to act is now.